Why was the movie Shock thought to hurt the psychiatric profession? Find out soon as we take a deep dive into the movie Shock. Alfred L. Werger directed Shock, a 1946 American film noir starring Vincent Price, Lynn Barry, and Frank Lattimore. I've come to love Vincent Price, especially in the old movies. This show contains spoilers, so proceed with caution. While waiting for her husband to arrive, Janet Stewart is looking for a place to stay. She finds herself in a hotel. Their reunion is arranged for the next day at the hotel, after a lengthy period of separation. He was supposed to have died while doing military duties. However, he was really a prisoner of war at the time. Her cable, which she had sent in order to make a reservation, did not arrive. Her narrative is heard and understood by those in charge, and she's given a place to stay for the night. The reason why she isn't sleeping is she's very restless. It's around this time she hears an uproar and hurries to the balcony window, where she sees a man bashing his wife with a candlestick. The woman has been slain, according to the police. Janet's husband arrives the following morning and attempts to surprise her. Instead, he discovers her sitting on a couch, her eyes staring blankly into space. She is experiencing shock as a result of seeing the murder. The hotel doctor is summoned, but he encourages her to seek the advice of a professional. Dr. Cross determines that the only way to keep Janet silent is to commit her to an insane asylum. However, when her husband becomes suspicious and Janet begins to discover her own identity, he resorts to an incredibly hazardous procedure that might put his patient's life in jeopardy. Dr. Cross, the guy who murdered his wife, turns out to be the expert. Reception It was the film's portrayal of psychiatry that drew criticism from critics like Bosley Crowther of the New York Times, who felt it went above and beyond the usual horror movie stereotypes. According to Crowther, the film's social injustice and stilling apprehension towards the treatment of nerve diseases is due to the lack of care for individuals in need of therapy shown by producers Aubrey uh, Schecht and 20th Century Fox. The Los Angeles Times, Philip K. Scherer, had no reservations, describing the film as a nominal B-movie with grade-A suspense owing to the script author Eugene Ling and director Albert Worker, respectively. According to Jonathan Malcolm Lampley in Women in the Horror Films of Vincent Price, Vincent Price's character in this film foreshadows the insane physicians and scientists Price would commonly play in his later career. As always, we want to thank you for tuning in.